Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for uh, being here. Music with Todd Ledbetter. Appreciate you joining me today. And uh, we are going to get back to a band we've been checking out a little bit this uh, past week. And it's called, uh, the, to the best of my pronunciation, Anecdotin. You know, basically Anecdote. Anecdotin. Um, from the Nucleus album that was released in 1995. Uh, getting mostly pretty pro positive uh, response in the comment section uh, as far as that goes. Not a lot of views. Uh, it's, it's not connecting with a couple people, which is understandable. Um, but um, I am excited to hear another. Uh, we're going to do two songs because uh, they go together. This was a, this was a uh, recommendation on Ko-Fi. And I was told to play these two songs together. One's, uh, well, Raft is is uh, the fourth track. It's only 58 seconds. And then uh, Rubnica is uh, three minutes and 24 seconds. So, um, but uh, I'm kind of getting the, the feel for these guys, you know. Um, it was kind of a stark contrast on the first review of, from a song that I just heard, another new song from the tangent just real different you know and so my ears took a minute but I've, I've been I've been figuring them out I think so I'm curious to see what else we got here uh, to give me a more clear picture uh, and mo positive positive on my part I think they're good I like what they're doing um, it, the more I understand it and I can hear the guitars together and whatnot um, and and what their what their approach is, I'm really enjoying it. So, having said that, um, um, we're going to get into like I said. Uh, uh, we're going to start with Raft, and then we're going to do uh, Rubnica. So let's get this set up and get it rocking. There it goes. It's already. Oh, let me start it over. Darn it! Sorry about that. Stupid. I love that bass, that's so hard. Such a hard bass.
All right. So there it is. Did I stop it? Yeah, okay. Gee. Um, yeah, so my overall, uh, let me just give you a, let's kind of an overall review. I mean, that song had some parts. I mean, the first was just sort of sound effects. It was cool kind of the way that they uh, added in a little buildup of uh, strings and whatnot, keyboards, and then boom, into the into the next song. Cool. Uh, that song had um, elements I liked. Um, but I think my overall issue with this band is that it's just so... Uh, it's... Uh, mm. I talked about being detuned in a couple of videos ago. I can't, it must have been this band. It, it, they're... they're their lines, you know, like the bass is dong dong ba dong, and the drums is going along with it. But everything else is a really odd line that doesn't really mesh together. And I mean, you know, and then there's then there's other weird lines like flowing through there. That's like the the oddest possible notes you can put in a song. Um, and it's just too much for me, you know, it's just too much. And then I'll get a break from it and it'll be a part I like, but then they'll add that element into it. Um, and I know this is early. That's uh, from what I'm kind of gathering from you guys in the comments. This is an early work of theirs. Uh, and since I haven't done any research to see what else they got, a couple of these guys look older. So I bet they've got some. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, uh they've got um okay so this nucleus album we've been going through and then we heard four songs three songs really was 1995 their first album was 1993 but they have a 2015 release um and one of uh um uh, i think it was henrik said that he likes this band and he's been listening to it um but he hasn't heard this older stuff. So to me, hearing him say that, and, and then a couple other comments he made on it, to me, it sounds like there's a difference between this old 1995 and then, you know, 2015. So that's 20 years later. So got to be different, right? So maybe maybe we should um, hear something from the latest album, uh, which is called uh, "Until All the Ghosts Are Gone." Um, why don't you guys that are know this band and have been commenting, let me know what we should listen to off of uh, "Until the Ghost Is Gone"? Because I don't want to give, I don't want to give them up when there's that potential, you know. Um, I think if I, you know, started with opeth on their first album um you know i might not have pursued it as hard as i did you know for those of you that are on the channel have been on the channel you know i've done a lot of opeth like almost all of their albums studio albums so far and uh if i would have heard their first album i would have tried and then i probably would have just forgotten about it and, you know, unless you guys were persistent. And so that's what's happening here is there's some positive comments about this band and about other works. OK, so that's what I'm saying. So let's um, maybe it solves my issues because I feel the potential there. You know, I feel the potential and there's grooves and there's there's uh, uh, progressions and chord uh, chord progressions and stuff that I like. Uh, so let's do that all right guys thank you so much i appreciate you all uh make sure you recommend songs over on ko-fi if you want to help the channel out otherwise just down in the comments is fine but i appreciate those of you that uh participate in patreon and ko-fi very much appreciated all right guys we'll see you in the next video down in the comments so just let me know what's next with this band all right bye bye thanks